All right, ladies and gentlemen, Melina's looking brand new, everyone. She's looking really, really good. All right, guys, don't give up on your goals, guys. Always strive for more. More is always better, right, guys? So if you are into my videos because you feel that more is really, really good and that you want more in your life and that you feel like you've been settling, you know, now is the time to make a change. Now is the time to take advantage of your life and really do more with it, right? More fun, more, especially now that we're leaving COVID behind with the with the vaccine, more of everything is better, right? And really striving to have an improvement in your life, like whether you want to have better relationships or you want to have more money or you want to have um, more, more energy or you want to do things that get you in a better position, right? Get that promotion at work. So more is better, right guys? Um, no, I was. I have a degree in in statistics and a degree in social service work and economics, like combined. So two majors. So in my degree, um, in, in in the part where the, I did the economics, they talked about having more is better. They really thought you know having more is better. Um, you have to have more in order to be happy, right? And because a lot of times people will feel like they can't have more. They really feel like, you know, and there are people that are minimalist. Yes, by all means, of course they are, and that's fine too. But people, a lot of people have a hard time accepting more or wanting more or feel like they should have more or doing more or being more than what they are, right? A lot of people have a hard time with the concept of more. Not necessarily a lot of people. I mean, not that it's, it's, it's not that common, but I mean, I'm sure if somebody had more, they would be more than happy with it but some people really have a hard time going for more doing more because they have peer pressure right some people have peer pressure and they feel like you know my friends are telling me i shouldn't be happy with getting a new car then i won't get a new car or whatever right but at the end of the day if you've earned it and you've really strived for doing more and you really you really want to make sure you got that new car or you put in extra hours at work or you have a great job you know there's nothing wrong with spending more money and and looking at and saving more money too of course saving money is good too but there's nothing wrong with buying if you have a really good job like a really really good job there's nothing wrong with you buying luxuries and and really getting they said we'll have so much money that they don't know what to do with right so don't feel like you should feel guilty or that if, and I don't think people would do. I mean, if I had, if I had tons of money, I don't think I'd be worried about it, but I'm not saying everybody would, and I'm not sure what people would really do, but I think if people have a lot of money, they might not worry about spending the money, but, or maybe they might not worry about, you know, what they're buying. But now I, I did hear, you know, the show Benny Hill from years ago, Benny Hill, it was a very popular show. And in the show, they talk, in, in a documentary, they talked about how uh, Benny, the guy that played Benny Hill, was, he was always surrounded by beautiful women in the show, and he was always, you know, always, they were super sexy, and he was always surrounded by beautiful women, and, you know, the show was all about that, right? Like, it was very, like, tongue-in-cheek kind of thing, but, or cheeky kind of thing, but... In the, in the documentary, it said that he had not done anything with a lot of women. He didn't, I don't even think he got married. I think he just made the persona look like he was with all these women, but he wasn't actually with those women. He was very much, um, he was very much, uh, I, I'm not even sure, I'm, I'm sure he lost, I'm not even sure if he lost the virginity. I don't remember what they said about it exactly, but he didn't date any of those women. He and you think he'd be like a player, or he would had all these women, but he, I think he had a restraining order one time, because one woman thought he was too much or something. I forget, but he was so talented, and like the show is very, you know, 
it's kind of like extreme extreme sexuality in the show but he never really dated any of these women I don't think and I'm not even sure if he had a wife and he, he was and I heard that he was also very very cheap as well so even though he had a bunch of money at first I'm not sure if, yeah he had, he had a bunch of money because he saved it all but he never spent anything and you're like I, I found it very hard to believe but that's what they said so I'm like you think he had all these women but he didn't and you would think that he was spending all his money uh, on nice things, but he was really cheap. So it was shocking to me. I was like, no way. Like, you grew up with this show, you watched it, and you thought this guy had all these girls all the time, and he didn't. So it was kind of like uncanny. But anyway, uh, all right, thank you for watching, my dad. All right, bye.